Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to change wallpapers on the iPhone 14 Pro, Pro Max Plus and regular iPhone 14. Let's get started. All right, so we're continuing the beginner's guide to the iPhone. As always, the playlist of all the iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials is in the description if you want to learn more. We're going to focus on how to change this wallpaper on your iPhone. Now there's two wallpapers that go together. This one that's behind our applications right here and then the wallpaper that sits behind our lock screen. So when we unlock our phone, this one right here. And we can change both of them simultaneously or you can just change one. Now there's two ways to do this. The simplest way is to just have your iPhone locked when it's unlocked like this press and hold, you need to have Face ID enabled to access it here. If you don't use Face ID, the other way is to open settings and then go to the section that says wallpaper right here and you'll be able to make the changes right there. So let's start with the simple one from our lock screen. So we'll just quickly unlock, you see it unlocked up there, we'll press and hold on our screen, just tapping and holding and we'll be able to see our active wallpapers. Now I've got two here, this one right here, and if I swipe left or right, you'll see which other ones you have available to you. Now to change it, all you have to do is swipe to the one you want, tap, and it'll change that wallpaper to the one that you just selected. If you wanna customize the wallpaper, you can tap down here, tap customize, and you can tap on the option that you wanna change. So we've tapped on our lock screen portion here, and we can tap in each one of these boxes, selecting different apps. So for example, if we wanted to add in, let's say the calendar up here, it'll add that in. And you can do the same here, tap on the middle one, choose if you wanna change the font, the color, all that good stuff. And then even down here, where it'll allow you to add different applications and options for you that you can add right there. Now I'm just gonna X out of this one, and I'm just going to cancel this because I want it to be the way it was. And we're gonna go over all the way to the right side here, and we're gonna add a brand new wallpaper. So if you wanna add a new one, you just tap in there. It opens up this screen here where you'll be able to see some options at the top, some featured wallpapers, and then a photo shuffle. So this will use a dynamic set of photos that shuffles as you use your iPhone throughout the day. So it's your iPhone photos on your photos app. You can choose from photos, people, photo shuffle, emojis, all of these up here, or you choose from the featured. So let's say we chose one of these featured ones. So this one right here, Unity. It'll automatically place that one on the screen and you can then make your changes. So first you can swipe. You can see down here when you have these little dots, it's gonna give you different variations of that specific wallpaper. So choose the one you like, and then you can tap within all of these sections once again to add widgets, apps and things like that. So we'll close out. When you're happy with it, you can tap add. It'll prompt you here to then decide if you wanna have this wallpaper for both your lock screen and your home screen. So the home screen is the one with the apps or if you wanna customize it. So if we choose customize home screen, it'll prompt us with our home screen and we can change things here. So if we wanna add a color, we tap on the color, it'll automatically be yellow, we second tap on it, and now we can overlay it with whatever other colors we want. Tap on the color or tap on the pair to bring it back. You can do the same with gradients, photos, and then the blur option here, which you can see it blurs the original background. So if you want it to be blurred, you can choose that as well. We're just gonna tap done, we're gonna leave it as is, and now we've got this new wallpaper right here that we can use. Now, a good thing about wallpapers is that they can have their own focus. So if we tap and hold, you'll see that focus is down there. If you've never used focus before, I did make a video. You can check out the card on screen right here and it'll teach you what it is. But if you tap on focus, basically you can set up the do not disturb so your phone won't ring or vibrate or anything like that. So if you're in a meeting, you can set this one to be my do not disturb wallpaper. So instead of having to turn on the focus with your existing wallpaper like this one, you can just say, okay, I'm just going to change my wallpaper over to my do not disturb wallpaper. Now, none of my notifications will come through. And again, you can learn how to use the do not disturb and focus with the video I created. So lastly here, if you want to delete a wallpaper, just swipe up and tap the garbage can, and then you can tap delete this wallpaper to remove it. So that's how you change your wallpaper on the iPhone lock screen. Now let's get into how you do it through the settings app. So we're gonna open settings and we're gonna go to the wallpaper section. 
When you open that up, once again, you can swipe left and right between your wallpapers. You can tap set as current here to change it and it'll automatically change. You can also tap and add a new wallpaper the same way we did with the other option, or you can swipe all the way to the right, tap here, and then again, use this option here to add a new wallpaper. Moving back over here to our original wallpaper, if we tap on it, you'll see that it brings up all of our extra options that we had before. If we tap on the lock screen portion, we can change the lock screen there as well. So it's pretty much up to you how you wanna handle your wallpapers, either through the lock screen or the home screen. But this is the simplest way I can show you how to change wallpapers on iPhone 14 Pros or older iPhones running with iOS 16. So hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section of this video. I'm happy to help. And again, there's a full playlist of iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial videos to help you get the most out of your iPhone in the description. So check that out if you're looking to learn more. Hit that like button, subscribe, the bell notification box if you enjoyed this video and wanna learn more. And as always, I will see you in the next one.